All right, did you know you can make your own chocolate bars at Fasha's Chocolates in Waterbury? That's a pretty sweet place oh, to check I see out. What you did there. And if you could, you could make it a family outing. Marcy Jones is there live this morning to show us around. Marcy, I bet you are just like drooling over the displays there. Did you want to say a kid in a candy shop? Because you can say it. I am. I'm a kid in a candy shop this morning. It's National Candy Month. We're so excited to be here at Fosh's Chocolate. It's when you walk in, guys, this is a perfect example of why we need smell vision You can smell the chocolate just melting away. That's one of the products you can get here at the Meltaways. All right, before we get to Carmen over here, who's standing by with his Cocoa Pods, we have to address something. We had a very concerned viewer call in and say, you didn't mention that it's kosher. That is one thing that they do here at Fasha's, which is very important to a lot of folks to have kosher chocolates. Absolutely. We like to serve everybody, and uh, we decided to go kosher about 13 years ago. And I love that. Yeah. Very inclusive. Okay, so you have a lot of community involvement. You really like to bring everybody in. That includes having events here. You give tours regularly and we've got some fun things coming up that we're going to get to. But what do you have in your hand there? I have a cocoa pod here. Ooh, so you hear the beans funny. inside and we show everybody a very special cocoa pod. This has actually uh, been dried. There would be a white pulp in here. There's about 40 beans in every pod. Okay. And we talk about the origins of chocolate, where the beans come from. How, how it goes it from this to that, that, right? Exactly. We do that while people make a chocolate bar. We've done that for over 50,000 people in so our cool. chocolate room here since, uh, uh, and a lot of those people have come to us on a train. So one of the yeah. really premier events we do is with something we call the Chocolate Decadence Tour. And mm -hmm. we're partners with the Naugatuck Railroad and their tracks are literally right behind our factory. So these Chocolate Decadence Tours run about a 12 or 13 a year depending on the season a couple a month at least okay and uh you get on the train in thomaston we do a wine and chocolate pairing all the way to fascist people get off here and make a chocolate their oh, own so chocolate cool and i and love that you pair on. with local wineries so we have guest hosts mm -hmm. so the the roster of guest hosts changes each year uh some of the stalwarts we have sunset meadow vineyards hawk ridge winery yep. crystal ridge we have tomorrow night paradise hills we have worthington vineyard priam vineyards has been on so we have the list goes one. on yeah, so the one for tomorrow is sold out it is sold we want out to tell tomorrow. people that but you've got another chance coming up what on the 20 the, well the 23rd of june is sold out with hawk oh, ridge no. We got to go to July okay. 22nd <laughs> okay. with uh, Paradise Hills. There are two in August, and they're both Saturdays, 19th and 26th. And then there's four in a row starting late September through October. We're lining up so cool. those guest hosts. We're, we're, I'm, I'm scheduling them all now. And you guys are experts with the chocolate pairing. Take a look at this so list here, you guys. This is so pairing. cool. I do a lot of beer and chocolate pairings, and I don't just do it here or on a train. I go right. out. Yep. So, uh, in fact, I will be at Crystal Ridge so Winery for. Let's a, talk about some of these pairings. We've got the mocha. Mocha Meltaways. Mocha Meltaways are bourbon. really for bourbons, yes, Ooh. and beer, bourbons and beers. Okay. A dark lemon cream happens to be really wonderful with a lot of white wines, a lot of citrus-based ales like IPAs. Yeah. Uh, I can go to tequilas and things yes, like that. Yeah, you, you're lighting up cream. now. Sure, there you go. <laughs> awesome. uh, we have a creme brulee cream. We have a lot of different things we've developed just for pairing. So that's right. a fun, fun thing that we that do. That is so cool. Yes. If people do want to go on the Chocolate Decadence Tour the next time it's available, July 22nd, what is the best way for them to, to do that? Tickets are all sold through the railroad, and that would be um, rmne.org, okay. for Railroad Museum of New England.org, or ride the noggy. Fantastic. Or you could just come to Fosh's and talk to Carmen. You can get through our website. Knows everything. Too. You can definitely get there through our website, too. They also start scenic tours, and the scenic tours uh, will start in summer and come on Fridays and Saturdays, and they come here as a shopping experience. I love excursion. how you have all the little railroad chocolates, yeah, too. It's well, so we're cute. We're ready for tomorrow. Tomorrow is Connecticut Open House Day. Night listening tomorrow, you can go anywhere in Connecticut. Any tourist attraction should be throwing open their doors and having something special. Well, our special is the train runs a shuttle back and forth between their station and here all day long. We have 15 vendors and two food trucks in our parking lot, free mini tours, so and a reduced cool. price make a bar. So there's a lot going on tomorrow. A lot going on. And then to cap it off, a chocolate decadence tour. So I will be a busy man tomorrow. You are, Not just tomorrow, I think for the foreseeable future. Also, sure. leave it to us, you guys, to make National Candy Month about wine. But hey, it pairs with everything, right? Exactly. Exactly. Yes. So now also timing with National Candy Month is our national convention. So I'm going to be in Milwaukee next I'm so year jealous of with, this. With I'm not a part of the group, so I can't go, but tell everybody exactly. what it's all about. A couple about. hundred confectioners all get together and, uh, and 
we tour other chocolate factories. We talk about chocolate. In fact, we hosted it here uh, in 2019. In wow. Was, do you get inspired by what other chocolatiers are doing, so or we, do you think they kind of take absolutely. a little bit out of it? No, no, no. We have, a, we have one event. It's probably the, it's called Candy Clinic, and everybody presents things and wins awards and ribbons. So fun. So we talk about uh, best Valentine's idea, best Easter idea, so marketing, cool. all this stuff. Thank so. you so much for Good having stuff. us, Carmen. This was such a fun morning. Guys, happy National Candy Month. Come visit Fasha's here in Waterbury. How do we uh, sign up to be a patient of those candy clinics? Exactly. <laughs> I know, right? I'm feeling um, ill. I need a chocolate IV. <laughs> Thanks, Marsh. <laughs> With wine. <laughs> All right. All right.